today we're going to find the area of a circle. Then we're going to discover where this formula came from. So to start off, the formula of area is pi r squared. Now the r stands for radius, which is also half of the diameter. The pi is a constant. And it equals 3.14159, and it keeps going on and on. So we round it off to 3.14. Now we're going to find the area of the circle we have here. So the radius is 13. So we're going to plug it back into our formula. Now pi times 13 squared is 169 centimeters. Now we can round the pi to 3.14 and multiply it again by 169 centimeters, which gives us about 530 centimeters, or 530.66 centimeters squared. Now that we have the area of our circle, we are going to cut it into pieces. We're going to start by folding it into pieces. We're going to fold it eight times. After folding eight times, we're going to cut it so we have a total of 16 pieces. Boom goes dynamite, we have our pieces. We're then going to lay them out and alternate them so the sides are touching with our goal being to form a rectangle. We now have our rectangle formed. We are going to now draw a rectangle to represent the rectangle from our circle. We know that the area of a rectangle is length times width. Therefore, the radius from our circle is going to be the width of our new formed rectangle. Now to prove that the width of our rectangle here is equal to our radius, we can take this section, put it on top of our circle, and see that indeed it is our radius. Therefore, the width of this is equal to r, which we found earlier is equal to 13 centimeters. Now, to find our length, first we know that the circumference of a circle is the perimeter around the circle. As we can see here, the length of one bumpy side of our rectangle is equal to half of the circle's edges, or the perimeter, which is therefore half of the circumference. And as we learned in previous lessons, the circumference of a circle is equal to 2 times pi times r. Since we know the length of our rectangle is one half of the circle's edges, we need to multiply our formula by one half. When we do this, we can cancel our twos and one half of the circumference is going to equal pi times r. So therefore, our length is the same thing as pi times r, which is this piece right here. So now we need to find the area of our rectangle. We know that the area equals length times width. So we need to find out what the length is. We know that it's about 41 centimeters. So length equals 41 centimeters. Earlier we figured out 
that our width was 13 centimeters. After we multiply these two numbers together, we get a total of 533 centimeters squared. You'll notice that the answer to the area of the re rectangle is actually very close to the area of the circle. There is a slight difference, and this is because we rounded our pi at the beginning of this problem. So now you know where the formula of area comes from.